Good day, dears and dolls. It is me, your dearest Danielle, and I'm here with another, you guessed it, tag video. I was tagged in the Would You Rather tag by, I know girl, I'm gonna butcher your last name, Lizzie Seitz, or Seitz, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, I am terrible with names, but she tagged me in the Would You Rather tag, and I am just like so far behind on it, so let's get into it. Would you rather go out with messy hair and nice makeup or nice hair and no makeup? Either way for me, because honestly, I don't give a fuck, but if I had to choose, I would say nice makeup and messy hair because I personally love messy hair and so it would just be a win-win situation for me. <laughs> would you rather shave your eyebrows or have your eyelashes fall out? I'm gonna say shave my eyebrows because apparently right now the brow thing is in so I could just totally draw on my eyebrows and nobody would even care. If my eyelashes fell out, I don't know if gluing eyelashes on to my face would make it look okay or not because I don't wear fake eyelashes so I'd probably just look a hot mess. Would you rather be forced to shop at only MAC or Ulta for the rest of your life? And I literally don't shop at either. Um, and it's not Mac or Ulta, my bad. Mac or Sephora, I thought Ulta because Ulta is like the only makeup store I've ever actually been into. But if I had to choose, I would probably say Sephora because I think Sephora carries more brands than just Sephora, while Mac might only carry Mac. I don't know. But I'd probably go with Sephora because it seems more broad of a <laughs> product range. This one's interesting. Would you rather rock the lip gloss and lip liner look or rock an 80s perm? I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I will put it right here for you guys, your dearest Danielle. I posted a picture the other day where I practically looked like I had an 80s perm. I think I would totally go with an 80s perm. I've always wanted curly hair. I don't like lip liner, like, without it blending in with a lipstick. I don't know, just like a weird thing to me but I think I would go with the perm, because who doesn't want an afro? Would you rather leave the house with an obvious foundation line or with um, overly done blush? I have never really worn too much foundation, so I'm probably gonna be that girl who goes out with the obvious foundation line. I don't know if I have it right now, but I have also done overly too much blush and it definitely looks interesting but like lizzie said i think that you can blend out the blush a little bit more than you could do anything with foundation so i'm gonna go with overly done blush would you rather wear mc hammer pants or biker shorts i'm gonna go with biker shorts because i honestly wear shorts all the time anyways and i really just hate the look of those mc hammer pants I just think it looks like somebody shit in their pants and it's just like sagging. I don't know. It just literally drives me fucking nuts when girls wear it, when boys wear it. I don't care who wears it. I think it is the fucking ugliest trend that I've ever seen. <laughs> Would you rather go out with a bad orangey spray tan or with really bad tan lines that you can't cover up? I'm going to go ahead and say really bad tan lines that I can't cover up because at least it's natural. Orange skin just looks really creepy to me. It makes me think of Oompa Loompas. I don't like it. Tan lines, I've definitely had that problem before, especially if you live near the beach or in California. It's fucking hot and sunny here like 90% of the year, so you get some funky tan lines. I used to work at a hardware store, and my god, man, I would come home with like the worst farmer's tan. My feet would be white, my calves would be tan, my thighs would be white, my fucking arms would be tan, the whole rest of my body would be white, my face would be tan. I looked a fucking mess. Bad haircut or bad hair color? I'm going to go ahead and say I have definitely experienced both of these. I do practically all of my own hair dyeing and I have fucked it up more times than I can count. But there was one experience that I had with a bad haircut and I would never want to go back to that. I was in the 12th grade. I was actually going into the 12th grade and asked my grandmother to go get my hair cut. Um, it was probably a little bit longer than my hair is right now. And I asked the lady who was cutting my hair, I, you know, I want it cut to my shoulders and I want some choppy layers in it because this was back in like the 2008-ish era when like seen hair and seen kids and emo kids were like the in thing. And so, you know, I just wanted like 
choppy layers so my hair could look fun and messy and I came out of the fucking hair salon with like no fucking hair like I had hair shorter than most boys hair I was like crying for three days it was the worst bad haircut experience of my life so I will never go with a bad haircut again I think I would much rather go with a bad dye job would you rather you ugh, use would you rather have YouTube or Twitter taken away forever I'm gonna go ahead and say bye bye to Twitter because I have a Twitter account but I don't even fucking know how to use it so I never use it it just sits there and pretends that eventually Danielle's gonna come back but I don't know I never use Twitter I love YouTube I literally spend probably 75% of my internet time on YouTube uh, you know some of the time on Facebook and the rest of the time on Instagram but I'm not much of a Twitter person I just not enough time or space for me to say what I want to say <laughs> and last last I'm not gonna say n but not least because I feel like I say that every time I get to the last of something so last would you rather give up makeup brushes or give up mascara I'm gonna say I would give up makeup brushes because I honestly don't really use them anyways I just got my first pack of makeup brushes a few months ago and there's only a couple of them that I use so I can pretty much accomplish everything that I got done right here without makeup brushes so I don't think I could go without mascara because it just makes your eyes look so big and beautiful and like fun and it's just a really good accent makeup to have so with that being said this is the end of the video I just wanted to thank Lizzie for tagging me in this video because it was really fun to make and if you haven't checked out Lizzie's channel I will link it right here for you guys because Lizzie has tons of awesome videos she uploads I think every single day of the week um, except for the weekends I think she uploads five days a week so go ahead and check her out because you will definitely not be bored with her channel and if you haven't already be a dear and subscribe to my channel because I have some awesome videos coming up for you guys ah! I don't know I drink too much coffee this morning but yeah check out Lizzie subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video and have an awesome week bye